first time full practice. In general, your evaluation, who, who won the day uh, in general? I kind of felt like it was another good day for the defense. I felt like there were more highlights for them. When the Saints had to score, they found Michael Thomas in the end zone, which is always a story. So there's still that going for them. But I think day after day, outside of a couple practices, it's just really been a lot of defensive dominance. And there were a ton of players missing on offense, so I'm not sure we got the right look at them. But I think if, if we were going to tally up the highlights, that side of the ball won again. Two guys, two secondary guys that really stood out today, I thought Patrick Robinson and DJ Swearinger. These are two guys not among the first four guys in the secondary, but two guys that sure look like they can really help, right? The Saints don't play a lot of base defense, so it's going to be beyond just four guys. And I think DJ Swanger is going to be somebody that figures into that mix quite a bit. And you can play him back there, and then that maybe allows you to put Malcolm Jenkins somewhere else on the field to be more matchup based and opens things up a little bit. So as they look to disguise, I think he's going to be a player that allows them to do that. And Patrick Robinson, day after day, he's just putting together highlights. And I don't think talent has ever been the issue for him. It's his confidence. It looks like his confidence is going for him. And that's one of the positions that I think we would say is probably a little bit thinner, that third outside cornerback spot. I don't know if he's the guy to fill it just because we've seen him in that role. But if we were just going off this camp and he had any other name except Patrick Robinson, there would be a lot more hype around him right now. That's well said. Um, I did find it really interesting, and you touched on Mike Thomas. Mike Thomas takes a day off, and it was either Drew Brees' first drive or his second drive, where three times on the drive, he looks to Mike Thomas, including on a touchdown, and it was the Saints' case last year that whenever they wanted it, it was there, and today at practice against the number one defense, whenever they wanted it, it was there. It, it's almost unbelievable that they can pull that off even when everyone knows it's coming. Yeah, look, I mean, the thing about them, we, we talk about offensive diversification and bringing in Emmanuel Sanders helps a lot. Bringing in Jared Cook helps a lot. But you could really get by with just Mike Thomas throwing him the ball that many times, 200 times a season. He's going to catch it. He's going to get his yards. The problem is, is in the playoffs, if somebody figures out how to take it away, then, then what do you do? But nobody's really able to figure out how to take it away. You do have to, you know, you, you get car insurance just in case. So if your car does wreck, you have another way to go. They don't need it, it's there, but Mike is going to get his yards. He's going to catch the ball. He's going to be a 90% receptions guy. He's as good as it gets. It's unbelievable how reliable he is. And like you said, you know you're going to the slant that Mike Thomas in the red zone. Nobody can stop it. Um, Sheldon Rankins has to be one of the most pleasant surprises at camp. Not that he's here, not that he's practicing, but again today he flashes surprising quickness for a guy coming off back-to-back -back Achilles surgeries, right? I, I think there's maybe two or three guys on the team that I would call tipping point players, where if they play well, you go from good to great. I think Sheldon's one of those guys. If, if he's just there and he's okay, there's still a good defense. If he's the guy he was two years ago getting pressure all the time, eight sacks, I think now you're talking about a top three, four, five defense. We've seen him active, and that's, that's so huge. He, he had two sacks today. He had a run stuff, and he's building. He's stacking, and the explosiveness is there. We've seen the spin move. I don't know if he's all the way back, but I, I know what we're seeing right now is, is very, very optimistic. And I think he is going to be somebody that's active in the pass rush this year.